Hi, it's Crazy Monkey here again. All right, so this blog is going to be a little comedy, but it's going to be serious too. We're going to talk about legalizing prostitution. Prostitution has got to be legalized. Um, you know, our society is collapsing because the hypergamy of a lot of these women is just unbelievably crazy. I mean, these women expect guys to make 100000 200000 a year. It is just ridiculous. These women aren't bringing shit to the table. You know, you got half these women, they're like baby mamas, two different babies, three different babies, two different daddies on the welfare package. You got like 50% of these women now obese. I was just, I was just on the freaking internet, folks, last night. The obesity rate with women is now 40%. The overweight, overweight rate with women is like 30. You add it up, 70% of women are now overweight, fat, overweight, fat, and obese, obese. And out of that... Obesity rate, 40% of women are obese, obese, and 10%, so a quarter, a quarter of, of the obese women are now mega obese. That's right. They're mega obese. That, mean, that means they can barely walk. That means they're in the, the um, that means they're in a cart. They're in that, like, that go-kart thing, you know what I'm saying? Because they're so, they're so huge, they can barely walk. All right. It, it, it's ridiculous. Our society is collapsing, and it's because of extremist feminism, extremist socialist ideology. Our society is collapsing and the only way to make America great again is we got to eliminate the welfare state, got to eliminate that welfare, got to eliminate that section eight, got to get rid of that welfare state. It allows women to throw away the men. It allows women to throw away the men. It allows women to throw away the men. They get the welfare. They gain weight. They get three, four hundred pounds. They don't care because they're married to Uncle Sam socialist and they don't even care no more. You see it all the time. You see it all the time. And then you got these other women on the the alimony, vagina money. Like over 95% of the alimony, vagina money is paid to women. Women get the alimony 95% of the time. That's the reality. And these men are just getting completely divorce raped. Millions of men, millions and millions of men are getting totally divorce raped by these vicious gold digging whores that are getting the alimony. It's just sick. It's sick. The alimony's got to get eliminated, folks. The alimony's got to get eliminated. The um, welfare package has got to get eliminated. Prostitution needs to be legalized. That's right. Prostitution needs to be legalized. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. We're going to talk about prostitution needs to be legalized. Um, my vision, my vision would be um, to have prostitution legalized, and then it would be like a high, a high end, high end, very elegant prostitution experience. This, this would be my vision, and I, I literally want to be part owner of one of these cat houses. I want to be the freaking part owner. So what I would do, this is what I would do. This is how I would envision it, folks. Let's say you get a big, huge Victorian mansion and it's about a million dollars, right? It's big and huge, it's like 7,000 square feet. Let's say it's like in a city like Chicago or in a suburb close to Chicago. It's a big, huge, beautiful Victorian mansion. This is what I envision, folks. It's like 7,000 feet, got a big, huge first floor, got a big, huge second floor with like five bedrooms upstairs, got a big, huge basement. Here's what I'd do. Turn the basement into five bedrooms, Upstairs, you got five bedrooms. The main level, that would be the, the greet room. Um, that would be the parlor room. You'd go into the parlor room of this Victorian mansion. You'd be greeted by, um, the, the, there'd be somebody at a front desk. They'd greet you, they'd give you the book, the little black book. I've talked about this before in my other videos. The little black book would have all the different options that you can get, all the different prostitutes that you can have sex with for the different amounts of money that you would have to pay. There'd be packages for $200, there'd be packages for $500, there'd be the deluxe orgy package that's three women at once on it long. That'd be like a $1,000 package. That would be a great package. You would get like a bottle of whiskey, you would get like micro brew. You would get like a smoked salmon dinner. It would be a great package. That that package would be the best. That would be the best. That's like the deluxe player package. You know what I'm saying? Three women of your choice. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. And this is what you do. So you'd be in the parlor room. You'd be in the parlor room looking at the little black book. Get your package. Then there'd be a dining room right next to the parlor room. That's where you'd have your dinner. That's where they'd serve you your, your alcohol. They'd serve you your whiskey give you your cigar if you need a cigar they give you a cigar all that's free on the house that's all free on the house your meal is free on the house the beer the whiskey the vodka it's all free on the house your cigar is free on the house you can smoke your cigar anywhere you want in the Victorian cat house perfectly okay perfectly okay you drink your shot of whiskey have your dinner 
and then let's say you ordered up a package with two women at once two women are upstairs they're getting ready for you they're getting their makeup on they're looking real pretty they're getting their sexy lingerie on and then you go upstairs you go upstairs at the Victorian cat house and you'd have sex with these two gorgeous women oh hold on before you do that before you do that you you would have to go into the bathroom there'd be a bathroom on the main floor of the Victorian whorehouse Victorian cat house sorry about that I meant Victorian cat house it's a very elegant place of high-end prostitution that I envision all right and so you would basically um, go into the bathroom and there'd be like a little video camera and that you you would know about this so this would be legal because you know about it you'd sign off on it and then that's fed into the, the prostitutes room that you're gonna be having sex with or the two or three prostitutes you're gonna have sex with and then you would just squeeze the tip of your your penis to show her that you didn't have you know gonorrhea chlamydia that you were clean you know what I'm saying and then she would look at you make sure you're decent enough and make sure you're not some like total like slob that's drunk with, with gonorrhea oozing out of your dick you know what I'm saying she would she would look at you and she would say okay that guy's decent so then she would authorize that she'll have sex with you and then if she didn't want you for any reason because you're maybe you're 400 pounds and you're a huge slob or something I'm sorry but that's just the way it is and if she did she doesn't want you then she would just reject so sometimes the guy would be so pathetic or he's got oozing pus coming out of his dick the woman would then reject him so the woman would have the right to reject you or accept you and most guys would be accepted you know if they're to my standards you know I mean if you look like me if you look like me let me just show you real quick if you look like me if you look like me and you're you know decent you're decent you're you're, you're decent you'll you'll be accepted you know what I'm saying because these women are gonna make a lot of money so they're gonna accept you as long as you're decent just don't be some you know, don't be some big, huge slob with pus coming out of your dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't be so drunk you're falling over. You know what I'm saying? J just be a nice, a nice guy like me. You be a nice guy like me. You get accepted all the time, bro. You you be having, you be having lady after lady after lady. Don't you worry, all right? Don't you worry, bro. Don't you worry. You got the money. You got the money. You get, you you good. You good, all right? So I just, I just want to say it real quick. Don't worry about it. Just want to say that real quick. So anyway, you get accepted which is going to happen 90% of the time, just saying, especially if you're a nice guy like me, just saying. <laughs> and then, um, so you'd go upstairs, and then you get your sex on. You've already paid the money. You've already got your bottle of whiskey or whatever. Now you go upstairs. You go upstairs, you get your sex on. Depending on the package you get, it could be three hours, it could be two hours, it could be one hour, it could be all night long, it could be all night long. And then you just leave the cat house. And so there'd be 10 rooms in the cat house, 10 rooms where the prostitution would occur um, the woman would work whatever hours they want like some women they just do it part time they'd only work maybe a 10 hour shift like twice a week or a 5 hour shift twice a week other women might work 40 hours a week you know it would be the, it would be their choice so each cat house you know would employ possibly hundreds of women because the cat house is open 24-7 you know what I'm saying it's open 24-7 it's open 24-7 that's right so there, there, there'd be literally hundreds of women employed at the cat house. Um, I, I did the math. I did the math. It would be a million bucks for the Victorian cat house, seven, eight thousand square feet, six thousand, seven, eight thousand square feet. It would cost about a million dollars to buy the cat house. It would cost another million dollars to do all the stuff, the renovations, everything that's needed. So I, I estimate to get this going, it's about two million dollars. Um, the, the idea. And I want to be a part of this. I want to get this going when the prostitution gets legal. I hope prostitution gets legalized. I want prostitution legalized. I strongly support legalized prostitution. And when it gets legalized, I want to be part owner of this. Um, I envision it. 50000 investment gets you on the board of directors. There would be up to 20 people that could invest the 50000 and that would get you on the board of directors. And there would be other money that would also get invested. People would invest five grand, ten grand, but they would not get on the board of directors. They would just get an ownership share. Like if they invest ten thousand, they would get that percentage of ownership, all right, and that would be based on the two million dollars starting cost. But if you pay fifty grand, you would basically get a seat on the board of directors, and there, there could be twenty people on the board of directors. Um, and it's possible too to have the other million dollars, like bank financing or some sort of financing, and then we'd pay interest on that. Because the idea is each board of director would pay 50 grand investment capital. They would have a 5% ownership of the company. This is how I envision it. So I would have a 5% ownership. I would be on the board of directors. There would be 19 other men and women also on the board of directors with a 5% ownership stake. 
5% voting rights. And then um, the other million dollars would ideally come from like um, some sort of bank financing and then we pay interest, like maybe the interest rate would be 10%. So we would pay that million dollars back to the investors at like 10% interest or something. We, we, would, we would figure something out. It might even be higher than 10% because that's like, a, it would probably be considered a high risk loan in the beginning. So the interest rate might be a little higher, but I envision the cat house would make so much profit. I envision we could pay the debt off in three years. And I envision within three to five years, we'd have expansion potential to expand and build two to three more cat houses in like cities like New Orleans, Anchorage, Alaska, possibly other cities as well. And then at that point, there could be like three to five cat houses. And then at that point, we'd be like a literally a small company and then hopefully get more bank financing to build like more cat houses, to get like 10 of them going. That, that is what I envision. Um, it, it would be great for the woman because they can make a lot of money. Um, they can make a lot of money. It would be great for the investors of the cat house because we would make a shitload of money. I, I did the math. It's like massive amount of profit. It's, it's amazing. It's totally awesome. And then the best part is the women are protected because it's all security. Security, there'd be like a security guard at the cat house to protect the woman. So if some guy went in and he started beating up some woman, the security guard would stop that shit right away. He could, there'd be panic buttons where the security guard would just hit the panic button, bust into the room, grab that guy, throw him out of the cat house, call the police, have the guy arrested. So nobody, nobody could go to the cat house and like beat up a woman or, or viciously attack her. That would not happen. That would not be tolerated at these high, high, high quality, high quality cat houses that I envision. You know, so the woman would be protected. It, it would just be a great, great, wonderful thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it protects the woman, so they don't have to worry about being viciously attacked or killed by serial killers. They don't got to worry about that. They'd be protected. They'd make a lot of money. Cat house would be a very profitable business. The woman would make a lot of money. The owners, the owner operators, hopefully I'm one of them with a 5% ownership stake. That is the way I envision it. 50,000 investment gets you a 5% ownership stake. That's the way I envision it. 20 people invest the money. All 20 were board of directors with 5% ownership stake. That's the way I envision it. I just think it would be totally awesome. And I just want to say that real quick.